What's going on everyone? Well, thanks for checking out another one of my videos. So I'm out here today with Eric. Morning everybody. What, what's the plan? You're in a wetsuit, a paddle. We're gonna try a little paddle board crabbing today. That's right. So Eric has his paddle board here and he's gonna go paddle out there and drop all these crab pots we have. So we got them all loaded up with bait. They're all ready to go here. And hopefully we catch a crab pretty soon here because we're hungry, we brought the stove, want to do a catch and cook and make omelets here along the water. So I'm gonna get these, uh, help Eric get the pots out in the water right now. Once that happens, I'm gonna grab the fishing poles. We're gonna cast out uh, some frozen bait, try and get uh, some stingrays, some leopard sharks, it's kind of what's in the area. Not the best time of year for that, but I think they're still going by. So uh, yeah, let's get the pots out, get the lines in and see what we can catch. Loaded up some duck here in the crab pots my buddy gave me. We'll see how these uh, these work. So Eric just got back from dropping all the pots. How was it? Oh, it was a lot of work. Eight pots. You can take that camera off now. Eight <laughs> pots. You got them out there spread out pretty well, right? I did. I think I got the channel pretty good. All right. So I got my uh, poles all ready to cast out. We'll do heron on one. And I got some squid on the other. So again, we're going to try and catch some uh, leopard shark or stingrays with that. Try and get a good fight out of one. Um, Eric's putting snares on, so you know if one's working better than the other, you know the crab are biting or vice versa with the stingrays. We'll switch it up. Keeper, keeper. Yep. Uh, six inches. Well, it's over five and three quarters. Yeah, six inches. Six it's incher, dude. Seems so small. Nice. We got our crab. That's we've been away from. That's a keeper. Uh, so that uh, one's short. That one's short, barely. And that one's short too. Hey, we got a keeper. Good job. It's nice. Nice. Missing three legs. It's all right. Dude, we got our crab and cook. Yeah, baby. Got a keeper. Keep. Hot bite right now. All right, I'm switching out to a crab snare on one of my rods. I'm not gonna be able to catch any fish because the crab are just still in the bait right away, I assume. Since there seems to be a lot of crab in the area, Eric already has three keepers about a half hour. Plus he's thrown back, I don't know, three or four. So they're definitely here, exciting. Can't imagine what's in those crab pots. We're looking forward to pulling those pretty soon. So I'm gonna get this out and we're gonna start working on these omelets pretty soon here.
So we got the water boiling. Got a little protection here out of the wind. So we'll use this spot. We'll go kill the crab and dump them in. That exposes front like mm -hmm. there. Then you have to find a ledge, so a curb works too. Look at that, that's a genius. That's, that's genius. Then you just see, then he just breaks like right there. That's a good way to keep the shell. Then you keep that. Nice. Thank you for teaching that. You're welcome. Cracked the crab, washed them up. Look at that. So water's just about boiling. We're gonna go ahead and throw them in now. So just because it's hard to get it so hot out here, we'll probably wait, you know, 15, 16 minutes. Um, when I'm at home, I usually boil them about 12 minutes. Got some good weight on this one, guys. Nothing to keep though. And then we got a female dungy here. She's might be th five and three quarters, but we'll let her go regardless. It's definitely close. Uh, it's a keeper. I can sure. see it. Oh, it's a keeper for sure. Keeper. Wow, it is. Eric's got the eye on that five and three quarters. Keeper for sure. Water's been boiling for a while. Crab looked nice and orange. No reason why I don't think it would be done. So we'll get to picking and get that meat. He wants the omelet. So before eating the omelet, I want to take a picture of it. As we're finishing up, got a friendly surprise. Fishing Game's coming down to check on us. Uh, they were just mainly interested in making sure we had our fishing license. Both of us had them in our car, 
so they just follow us to our vehicles um yeah um, it was getting cold but they gotta do what they gotta do so we showed them our fishing license let us on our way uh always support seeing these guys so thanks for what you do and I'm gonna go eat this omelet now dig in well there's the omelet really good that's the only thing i'm missing some hot sauce mm, mm. is your omelet gone huh? you finish your omelet yep. it's good huh yep. well i don't know it turned out better than i thought it would i thought it would turn out good it was amazing Eric's heading out to go get the crab pots right now. We have eight pots to pull. They've soaked for about three and a half, four hours. We're feeling really confident about them, right? Because we have all these crab on the stairs. These pots, they should be filled. A little choppy out here. Just take it nice and easy. This one had the duck meat in it. He's coming with the first paw. It doesn't look too good. That had his duck carcass in it. Maybe that doesn't work too well. well let's see. Nothing? Nothing. I got one small one that came out. Duck no good, huh? something man i guess is it the pot or the bait we don't know yet we don't know yet all right Ugh. a lot of small ones all right we get one keeper in that pot yep Keeper. Ah, all females looks like. So that pot was a dud. So what do you guys think? Isn't that really weird? no crab in the traps and the pots out there we we're catching them on the snares we have a lot of the same bait you know we're using heron in the snares and squid and we had those in the canisters and in the, in the traps pots i don't know we got three more pots to pull or two more so we have three more pots to pull so hopefully we can just get you know four or five more keepers Eric just got it back in with this pot. He gave us the thumbs up on it. What do you guys think? Two keepers? Let's go see what a thumbs up means. Oh! Thumbs up means one nice big keeper. One nice big keeper. That is nice. That's good six and a half, six and three quarters. Bringing in the last pot right now. I guess that means we got a measure. Let's go see if we got a keeper. 
So we got a close one in there. Yeah. Still looks small. It's really small. Well, what a fun day out here today. I wasn't sure what to expect. You never know in this area. But man, nine crab, taking seven home. Those almonds were so good we made. Uh, my boat's on the shop right now, so I wasn't able to take it out this weekend. Um, getting some new features put on, some upgrades, uh, you know, from Jim at Real Custom Boat Works helping me out again. Um, getting the motor serviced as well. And uh, yeah, can't wait for halibut season to start. I'm gonna go out here pretty soon and give it a try. So we got really good fishing coming up soon. I love springtime, uh, favorite time for me to fish. So stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for checking out this one. Um, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.